Hey everybody, Mr. Forston here. Again, school counselor at West Seaford and it's Red Ribbon Week. And we've been talking about all different kinds of things like how hard it is to make good choices that are good for our body and good for those around us. We talked about medicine yesterday with Denver uh, and what we do when we find medicine and how we keep it safe. I created this Jenga set and it made me think of making good choices for our body. Picture this Jenga set as your body. When we make good choices, we're a solid, solid Jenga set. Look how, look how solid that is. You can't move it. It's not going to go anywhere if you shake the table. It's solid. But you see, if you start making bad choices, let's say that I go, you know what? I, 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 I just want to eat a whole sleeve of Oreos. Maybe it's that you go, you know what? I'm going to talk back to my teacher. That's not good for our brain, right? It's not good for the people around us. Maybe we go, you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna eat that broccoli that somebody told me to eat and I'm gonna just throw it in the trash can. I'm not gonna tell anybody. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw it away. Maybe you just go, you know what? I'm not gonna take out the trash at home. Maybe you're gonna say, you know what? I am gonna just stand up in class and I'm gonna do whatever I want. Uh, maybe instead of being a leader, I'm going to be a follower. I'm just going to do what other people say and I'm going to start doing things that maybe go against what everybody else says. And we heard from Kid President that being a leader is huge and there's no small choices. Um, and we just, we keep doing that. We just keep taking away from our, our body. We just, every time we make a bad choice, it kind of chisels away who we are as a person. And then it makes it easier to just keep making those bad choices. And when you make one bad choice, sometimes you can't get it back in there. You see, as we make those bad choices, we kind of break down our foundation and we crumble. We crumble when things get tough and then sometimes we don't have our coping skills and we don't have ways to get out of bad situations. That's why Red Ribbon Week is so important. It's important to Talk about the tough things, like making good choices for our body, eating fruits and vegetables, exercising, drinking lots of water. Those are three pieces that are just about what we put in our body that can help. Saying no to things like cigarettes or drugs, pointing out when there's medicine left on the counter so somebody can put it away so it protects myself and everybody else around me. Um, adult beverages and drinks like alcohol and making sure that we stay away from those things. It's so important that this week we raise awareness, that we talk to our families at home about things that we're discussing here at school with Red Ribbon Week so that we can stay safe, so we can make good choices because I know something about each and every one of you. I know that there are big things in store for you in the future. I know there are things that you can accomplish that will help the whole world, our community, our school even. I know that you have big dreams and big aspirations. And I know that you can accomplish them. But it starts by making good choices for our bodies. I hope that this week that you're soaking it all in. And that each day you're trying to make a better choice. Each day you're trying to do something that can correct the Jenga set falling apart. Maybe today's challenge for you is to tell yourself some positive things. For example, practice with me. Say, I am awesome. Oh, I could hear it. Say, I can do this. Way to go. Say, that's not going in my body. Good job. Say those things to yourself. Positive self-talk. Because you are great. You are awesome. And I know you can accomplish great things. Until tomorrow, have a great day and keep making those good choices.